Um, on behalf of Microsoft, it's a real honor to be here and to celebrate the wonderful Code.org community. Um, Code.org's mission is deeply personal to me. I am an engineer. Um, at college, I learned to code, and my first job outside of college was coding. And computer science has, in many ways, been the foundation of my career. It's really changed my life. But I have to say, um, it almost was an accident. It wasn't supposed to be that way. And I'll, I'll give you a little bit of the backstory on that. I am one of 15 kids. So I have 14 brothers and sisters in my family. Um, there's a little bit of Irish Catholic in there. That's how that happened. Um, <laughs> But I had the, uh, the unenviable position. I wasn't the oldest, I wasn't the youngest, I was one of the 13 in the middle. So for those of you who remember the Brady Bunch, I definitely had some Jan Brady syndrome. But my parents had two rules. Um, one, you had to go to college, and two, you had to pay for it yourself. So uh, following my older brothers and sisters, as younger siblings do, they had already uh, gone off to college, and many of them had become business majors, and so I just sort of followed in their footsteps, went off to San Diego State, got a job on campus and started my, what I thought was going to be my, my business degree. And one day I find myself delivering a package to the engineering department, a place I have never been to before in my life. I didn't even know where it was. I'd ask people how to get there. So I walk in and I struck up a conversation with the two executive assistants who were behind the desk and who were strangely so excited to see me. And what I didn't realize is they'd just been having a conversation about how they could get more women into engineering. And the sad fact was they just, they, they had tried, they just couldn't get more in, and all of a sudden I showed up in front of them. So these two ladies, they went to work on me. They sat me down, on the clock, by the way, and they said, so what are you studying? You know, what are you gonna be? Do you like math and science? Have you ever considered seeking a degree in engineering? And frankly, to be brutally honest, no. I didn't even really know what engineers did, to tell you the truth. There was no engineers in my family going up there. You know, everybody was business majors. And these two ladies just started working on me and working on me. And I remember something that still resonates with me today. They said, the world will be your oyster if you pursue an engineering degree. And the next morning, I woke up, changed my major to engineering. And I tell you this story because it has a lot to do with luck. When I looked around at my classes, they were, it was under 10% in the double E department were women. I was, I was just there by pure luck because of this package I had dropped off. And frankly, the, the, the issue is that for too many of our young women today, for too many of our young people of color, for too many young people altogether, luck is still too much a part of the equation. And as computer scientists, luck is not a variable we like to deal with, data. Okay, probability, odds, things we can change, but luck, not so much. And for me, I wanted to be able to, to change this number. And for you, the opportunity is there. Every day, we are improving the odds with our kids when teachers introduce them to Hour of Code, when schools and districts scrape money together to get a computer scientist on their payroll. And every day, we can change a kid's life by saying to them, hey, have you ever thought about pursuing a degree? And hey, have you ever thought about going after coding and learning how to code? So it's really incumbent upon all of us to, to change that equation. Um, in computer science, or sorry, um, code.org is all about, really, it's all about changing that equation, leveling the playing field for all of these young kids. It's why Microsoft is so deeply involved in the program. We're a founding member of it, and we're continuing to embrace that vision because every child should have the opportunity to be able to change the world, and coding is one way that they can do that. No matter where she was born, no matter who her parents are, no matter what hallway she walked down to get there. So thanks very much. I hope you enjoy the rest of the day.